you know, so many people go to the chiropractor because they have problems with their back and you know, I think that's all that chiropractors do. Well, they don't. They do so much more and then dealings with your upper body, your arms, your neck, everything. So we come to the professional, Dr. Sonia Spencer, who we've been working with for so many years. How are you? Good I'm wonderful, Jim. It's, it's great to see you. It's good to see you as always. I mean, you've helped me out in the past and I know a lot of other people that have gone to uh, come to you and uh, get help. But uh, you, you do work more than just on the lower back. Yes, we do. We, we actually work on the full spine, which includes your neck, your upper back between your shoulders, your lower back, your hips, and we also work on what we call the extremities too, which is your, your hands, your wrists, your, your shoulders, your elbows, your knees, your feet, everything. This, this whole laundry list behind you, we can usually do something about those things, and we do a lot more than manipulate the spine. We do a lot of soft tissue work as well. But you know, in today's technology world, when we're looking down a lot on our tablets and our phones and, and things, people get irritation in the neck and shoulders. You know, you've talked about tech neck in the past. Yes, it, and it's epidemic. You know, kids today, this is their entertainment and their babysitter to, to play on their digital devices. Mm -hmm. And then, I, mean, I don't- how, how many times have you seen somebody, it's just all the time? Mm, yeah, okay. They just kind of cast their eyes up at you. They're down here like that, just like you said. Yes, you go into a restaurant and nobody's really talking to each other. It's a shame. Yeah, and everybody's on their device and you know our work is on our device and so forth. Everything is kind of uh, you know, making you look down. Mm -hmm. and, and so this results in a lot of tightness in the shoulders and uh, tightness in the muscles in the back of the neck and so forth. And so people come in and tell, you know, I ask them, you know, do you have headaches? And uh, just, and the, you know what they say? Yeah. What? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> they say just just the everyday headaches. Mm -hmm. Everyday headaches. But if you're having a headache every day, um, then that's a warning sign that you know something is wrong. You don't have to live with headaches every day. And they try to blame other things like stress or you know, the environment or whatever. But as you said, it's it's something. There's an issue there that needs to be dealt with. Right. I'm gonna, I'm going to tell you a true story here. Um, probably about six weeks ago, um, I had a lady come in and she came in for lower back pain. And um, I did an evaluation on her and took some x-rays and so forth. And I was getting ready to go over all that with her, with her care plan. And um, her partner came in to, to look at everything with her and started talking to me about how bad her headaches were, which we never found out about in the, in the consultation. Mm -hmm. And so um, I said, well, how often is she having these headaches? And that's, that's why it's good to bring your partner with you because we find out the rest of the story. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, every day. These are, these, are, these are really bothering her a lot. So um, in addition to helping her with her lower back pain, we got rid of those headaches. In fact, when I did her re-exam, she said she didn't have a headache the whole time she was coming. And she had been suffering with those headaches every single day. And so... It's great when you can relieve somebody of something, um, you know, and they didn't even know that you could help them with that mm -hmm. particular thing. They come in with one thing and they leave with both things gone. It, it's, it's truly uh, rewarding to be able to help someone have that quality of life return to them. Now, what I'm going to do, Jim, is I'm going to, you've been my patient before. Yes. I'm going to just use you as a demonstration. Is that okay? That's fine. All right. All right, Jim, I'm going to say that neck, shoulder, arm, hand, headaches are my favorite thing to treat as a chiropractor. I don't know why, but we all have our favorite things, and this is my love and my passion. All right? Okay. And so when I come in and I get a, a patient that has these symptoms, I always start, start with a thorough examination and a history. I talk to a patient and see what all kind of traumas, accidents, injuries, and things like that that they have. And I um, do an evaluation of their spine and their nerve system. And I look at um, their spine and I correlate that to their nerve system, looking where nerves come out that can be irritated that are causing their symptoms, causing them to have uh, pain, irritation, and so forth. So I'm gonna just gently press into some muscles Jim, and see where you may have uh, some trigger points or some tightness uh, that may be causing. I felt that one. 
You felt that one? I felt that one. So I want you to think about something. When you leave clothes in the dryer and you get them out because you left them in overnight, you get them out the next morning, they have some deep wrinkles in them. Yeah. Have you ever noticed that? Well, I'm not allowed to do that, but uh, <laughs> I, know I have done it in the past, yes. <laughs> right. So your muscles are kind of that way. If, if they're not allowed to function properly, they can get some really, really deep wrinkles, and they don't conduct their normal function properly. So these deep wrinkles in the muscles need to either be worked out, smoothed out, rehabbed out, because the muscles override the function in the joint mm -hmm. and can, put pri can be part of what's causing the recurring problems. So at Spencer Chiropractic, we work on your muscles, your joints, and your nerves so that we are rehabilitating the whole entire person so that when you're not under care anymore, um, your problem doesn't have a tendency to recur uh, over time. So a lot of times when I even doing the exam on people they're saying oh I can feel that that's really tender or that's tight I know that that's a you know my pro like I can feel you feel that mm -hmm. right there? Uh, when you hit it I felt it. Right. Mm -hmm. So what this what this indicates right here on you Jim is that you know we talked about this before you have some uh, over tight muscles in the front that are pulling your head forward that um, you know could be creating some neck tension. Ooh, I feel that. Yes. So just me getting out that out of uh, your neck mm -hmm. would you know help you to relax and um, have less tension and stress in these shoulders and if it continued to over tighten it may cause some pressure on the nerves that come out and go into the arms and hands. And a lot of time, this is why uh, carpal tunnel surgery will fail because these muscles that are uh, pressing on these nerves mm -hmm. need to be relaxed in addition to the joints up here um, being released as well. You know, I really felt that. Whenever you hit the, those points, I could feel it uh, immediately and the release that I got from that because it made such a difference. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, again, you worked with me in the past after I had my accident a few years ago. Big, big relief. If you're having some issues, you know, headaches, especially upper body or anything like that, call the number on your screen, set up an appointment, and come and get some relief here with Dr. Sonia Spencer. She's located right off of Pass Road in Gulfport, across from Pass Road Elementary.